Hello my dear viewers welcome to my channel let's practice grammar today in this video i am going to share the answers of vocabulary collocations page number 149 from the book new grammar with a smile class 6 some words always go together like strong tea fast food express train honest man सच पेयरिंग्स आर कॉल्ड कॉलोकेशंस इस तरह से जब हम पैर बना के एक वर्ड बोलते हैं दैट इज़ कॉल्ड कॉलोकेशन नाउ एक्सरसाइज ए कम्बाइन द वर्ड्स गिवन इन द सेंटर ऑफ द फ्लावर विद द वर्ड्स इन द पेटल्स तो सेंटर ऑफ द फ्लावर में जो वर्ड्स दिए हैं उनको हमें पेटल्स के वर्ड से मैच करके वी हैव टू मेक अ कॉलोकेशन न्यू वर्ड ओके नाउ फर्स्ट इज रिटन स्ट्रॉन्ग टी द अनदर वर्ड इज स्पेंड टाइम थर्ड कंप्यूटर गेम्स नंबर फोर रेजिडेंशियल एरिया नंबर फाइव टेलीफोन नंबर नंबर सिक्स फिश मेकर नंबर सेवन फ्री सर्विस नंबर एट कोल्ड ड्रिंक सो दीज वर द आंसर्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज ए नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस द आंसर्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज बी चिल्ड्रेन इन दिस एक्सरसाइज यू हैव टू मैच द वर्ड्स इन टू कॉलम्स to form collocations okay and you have to write your answers in the third column so the first answer is chilly weather number 2 disobedient child number 3 heavy traffic number 4 strong coffee i am speaking only answers okay number 5 high speed number 6 light drizzle number 7 decent family number 8 bad temper number 9 deep sleep number 10 low pressure okay these were the answers of exercise b now let's do exercise c in exercise c you have to complete these sentences by choosing the correct adjectives from the box with the help of meanings given in the brackets so the first question is our country is famous for its rich culture and history number 2 he received a warm reception from his family and friends number 3 the unusually heavy rain threw the traffic out of gear number 4 a strong current swept the boat away number 5 I have great admiration for my elder sister. Number 6. I ordered a large pizza with coke. Number 7. The match ended in a thrilling finish. Number 8. Swami Vivekanand was a brilliant orator. So these were the answers of exercise C. This chapter is completed. For exercise D, you have to use a dictionary, okay? And you have to find ten new collocations. So you use dictionary and do it yourself. Now, chapter two is idioms. So here, what is idiom, children? An idiom is a commonly used expression whose meaning is different from the literal definition of the individual words. Like, जैसे in in the idiom. द लिटरल मीनिंग यानी कि वर्ड बाय वर्ड मीनिंग आप नहीं निकाल सकते देर इज अ डिफरेंट मीनिंग लाइक अ ब्लेसिंग इज डिस्काइज मीन्स एक अच्छी चीज जो पहले हमें बैड लगती है अ स्नो बॉल इफेक्ट मीन इवेंट्स हैव मोमेंटम एंड बिल्ड अपॉन ईच अदर एज राइट एज रेन मीन मीन्स परफेक्ट बीट अराउंड द बुश अवॉइड सेंग वॉट यू मीन यूजली बिकॉज इट इज अनकम्फर्टेबल Better late than never. Better to arrive late than not to come at all. Means देर से पहुँचना बेहतर है ना आने से Bite of more than you can chew. Take on a project that you you cannot finish. Bolt from the blue. It means something that happened without warning. Break the ice. Means make people feel more comfortable. Call it a day. When you stop working on something, then you say call it a day. calm before the storm means right now it is calm because of something bad is about to happen tufaan se pehle ki shanti kehte hai na 
Next is curiosity kill the cat means stop asking questions. Cutting corners means doing something poorly in order to save time or money. Next is don't beat a dead horse means move on. This subject is over. Finish. Do something at the drop of hat means do something without having planned beforehand. Next is every dog has his day means everyone gets a chance to do something. Now there is exercise. You have to place a tick on the sentence with an idiom. There are two sentences written in one sentence idiom is given in an another sentence idiom is not given. So you have to tick the sentence in which idiom is given. Okay. So first I'll read both the sentences then I will tell you the answer. Number one, A. Gayatri was happy as a clam because she received a promotion. B. Gayatri was glad because she received a promotion. So the answer is A. Gayatri was happy as a clam because she received a promotion. Number two, A. Don't cry over spilt milk. B. Don't be upset over Something that cannot be changed. The idiom is in A1. Don't cry over spilt milk. Number 3. It is raining heavily. It's raining cats and dogs. So the answer is B1. It's raining cats and dogs. It is an idiom. Then we say it's raining cats and dogs. Number 4. Don't beat around the bush. Abhi humne piche hi samjha tha. Then the answer is this only. A1. Don't beat around the bush. This is an idiom. Number 5. A. That will be very easy to do. And B part is that will be a piece of cake. So a piece of cake is an idiom. So B is the correct one. Sixth. A. We have to go back to the drawing board. B. We have to start all over Again, the idiom is in A1. We have to go back to the drawing board. Number 7A. He turned over a new leaf. B. He has started to behave in a more responsible way. The idiom is in A1. He turned over a new leaf. The answer is A. Eighth. I will have to start from scratch. I will have to start from the beginning. So A1 is Correct. I will have to start from scratch. This is an idiom. Number 9. A. It is up to you to take the decision. B. The ball is in your court. So, yes. The B part is the idiom. The ball is in your court. Tenth. A. You have taken on a task that is way too big. B. You have bitten off more than you can chew. Of course, B1 is the idiom. 11. I am going to hit the sack. B. I am going to sleep. A1 is correct because the idiom is to hit the sack. I am going to hit the sack. Hit the sack is idiom. Okay. So, 11th one, A part is the correct answer. 12th. Leave out the details and come to the point. B. Make a long short story short. Make a long story short is an idiom. So, B is the correct one. You can tick B. 13. Jigyasa stole Monica's thunder. B. Jigyasa took the credit for Monica's work. The idiom is A1. Jigyasa stole Monica's thunder. Number 14. That is very expensive. B. That cost an arm and a leg. When we say an arm and a leg, it means it's very expensive. So, B is one is an idiom that cost an arm and a leg. Number 15, don't, pull t don't put all your eggs in one basket. B, don't put all your resources in one place. So, when we want to say don't put all your resources in one place, we use this idiom. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. So, this is an idiom, A1. Okay, 15th, the answer is A. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. So, I hope all the answers are clear. We'll meet in next video. Till then, bye.